Teenagers with anger and entitlement issues can spiral out of control quickly. And if parents won't get them under control, then it's up to law enforcement to do it for them. Help! Do you want to choke me out? Help! Holy! These are three times angry teenagers tried to attack the cops and ended up regretting it. Especially these teens who repeatedly taunted the cops but wouldn't like the consequences. Hey, listen, y'all, back the off of me. Get the back. On September 31st, Lieutenant Kenny May with the Hot Springs Police Department saw a female intentionally throw a beverage can onto the street, and he proceeded to get out and confront the teens. But little did he know how rowdy this bunch was. Listen to me. The next time I see you throw trash, you're gonna go to jail. You're gonna go to jail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, you get, hey, you get out of my face. Thank you. Hey. Twelve. I need a couple other units in the 200 block of park. The teens took no time in getting all up in Lieutenant Kenny's face, but the situation was about to escalate even further. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Step it up. Hey, listen. Get the f off of me! Get the f back! Get the f back! Get 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 back! The teens stepped way out of line, occasionally pushing the cop and throwing stuff towards him. Unfortunately for them, they bit off more than they could chew. Hop in. The one that punched me is getting put in next. She. Face, you're not compliant. You punched me first. No, I didn't. I pushed yes, you back. It's all on camera. You're good. Oh Can y'all call my mama, please? Yeah, please. I've been trying to get you to call your mom. Okay. Too late. I'm okay with that. Too late to be nice. You punched me in my face first. I don't have anything on me. I'll be okay. Well, you're under arrest for battery on an officer. Do you want me to lift up my shirt? Like, what nope. Else? We don't need you to do anything else except do what we tell you to do. No, we're not. Can I get my wig? No, ma'am. Get your foot in so it doesn't get shut in the door, okay? Eventually, two of the feisty teens were placed in cuffs and loaded into the patrol car. Looks like they'll be spending the night in jail. Let's let's get her in a different unit and have life. Twelve. 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 The cops were all kind enough to bring in EMS on the scene and treat the teen that was having medical complications, all while Lieutenant Kenny ignored his own injuries. What? What's up? Oh, that's it? Do no damn at you, dumb Anything else? You. Okay. Um. We're gonna have additional charges if you keep it up. Guess some teens never learned their lessons. The girls were taken to the Hot Springs Police Department and were charged with second degree battery, which is punishable by up to one year in jail for a minor. The last teens were a rowdy bunch, but the next one seemed detached from the situation until she was placed under arrest. You wanna try that? Oh, you On the 23rd of April, 2022, 
An 18-year-old woman was pulled over after concerning calls tipped officers off to a possible impaired driver. The woman was allegedly swerving into oncoming traffic and had hit multiple objects. If you want to, I can show you my medical card. Do you have a prescription for Xanax bars? No? Have you taken any? Alright, hang tight. You can get some gloves because I believe they're sniffing right there in the driver's seat. For me, it pretty much stays simple there. Is your ID in your purse? All right, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hey, I said I'll get it. Stand over there at the end of your car. A slur in her speech and drowsy eyes were clear indicators that she was probably helping herself to the drugs the cops found. Where's your ID at? Is it in uh, here? Can I look for my wallet? Well, like, why oh, I got it. For my wallet? No, the thing is, that's my property. You have no choice. Actually, I do because I found freaking Xanax bars on your driver's seat. If you want to explain something, explain those. Girl, the fact that you just looking for my stuff. They were in plain view. Yep. That makes a difference. Oh, were they so, in plain view? Yeah, your butt was covered. Okay. When her attempt to hide the drugs underneath her was unsuccessful, she decided to try getting aggressive. Ma'am. Over here, please. I've asked you. It, hey, I've asked you nicely. You asked me to be respectful, didn't you? Have I not been respectful with you? And you're not doing what I asked you. Okay, would you like to sit down on the grass over there? I can sit down in my car? No, you cannot. What if I just have, like, my hands up everything? No, you're not getting back in your car. You can sit on the grass over there, or we can sit in the back of this car here, whichever one you prefer. Okay? Uh, I'm gonna get my phone. No, you're not. You're staying oh, right here. Okay, but why can't I get my phone to, like, at least have. You're my not getting own back in that paper. car until they're done. Okay, but I feel like I should be able to. It's my right to, like, record anything that's happening in Everything's my Everything's being recorded right here. I know, but why can't I record it for myself? You're not going back in that car. But why can't I record You can request this recording. You can come with me to my car. My phone hey. is right on that seat. One of y'all can come to me to that seat to get my car. She was clearly getting restless, either because of the medication or the anxiety that she had been caught. And what's with those hand movements? It's as if she was hallucinating or something. Okay, I'm looking at your pupils, I'm looking at your eyes, and I think that you might be on the influence of some type of narcotic. Not alcohol, but I believe in narcotic. Okay, um, so based off of what I'm seeing so far, would you be willing to do a field sobriety test to dispel my suspicions that you're under the influence of any type of narcotic? You willing to do that? Cops asked her to complete a few basic field sobriety tests, simple things, like walking in a straight line and balancing on one foot. But those went as well as anyone would have suspected. Unsurprisingly, she was arrested. And at this point, her cooperative nature would soon flip. It's on my camera. Oh, you guys are going to steal my lavender? Yeah. Yeah. The officers breathed a sigh of relief after wrestling the girl into the patrol car. Maybe she was upset about the consequences of her actions. Grandparents' phone number because last time one of you guys took me to the mental hospital, my grandparents could not find me for weeks! Okay, and you officers were like, oh, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna say this is not, but all you guys do is... No wonder she was taken to the mental hospital before, 
Her behavior through the interaction didn't seem sane at all. Thank you. Thank you for letting me finally be free and giving me such BS of capitalism to the point where I'm just like, wow, I really, nothing really gives a f Cops don't give sh nobody, but to meet their f quotas. On the ride back to jail, the officer was clearly regretting not bringing earplugs with him that day. She was eventually charged with the DUI, the penalty for which can range from $500 to $2,000, along with a driver's license suspension or revocation. If that last case didn't make you reach for the volume slider, for this next case, you just might. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. On July 18th, 2022, a Volusia County PD sergeant came across a rather feisty and uncooperative teenager who was later identified as 18-year-old Leanna Rollins. He decided to pull her over because he was responding to a burglary call and found her backing away from a driveway. Hey, stop the car. Stop! Can you stay here? What are you doing here? Turn the car off. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off. Turn the now. Turn the car off. Hey! Watch what you're doing because I'll punch you in your Don't ever forget that I'll punch you in your head off. Hey! No, let me explain to you what we're doing. Put your on me and I don't say I'm responding to a alarm call. Put your on me and I didn't turn up on you. Watch your Hold on, Nobody's under arrest. Turn around. Ma'am, turn around. You're not under arrest. I don't care. You came in this outside. Don't you ever put your on me. The sergeant's lawful orders were instead met with profanity. She even threatened to spit in his face. It appeared that Rollins wasn't going to calm down anytime soon. Get down now. Get down now. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Get down. I don't care. Get down. What the Get down. Put your hands behind your back. If you don't stop, what's going to happen? Oftentimes, these police interactions can go smoothly with just a little bit of dialogue. Unlike Rollins here, who is severely irritated for no reason. Despite being told multiple times to calm down by her passengers, it was something she could not do. Rollins repeatedly kicked at the officers, who were trying to handcuff her. Eventually, a female officer was requested onto the scene to handle things appropriately. Open my door! You don't care, my wrist hurts! Open my car now! 
Don't twist it because I can get it myself. Get, okay, then get in. My wrist right. hurt, though. Get my in. My wrist hurt. Okay. Get it. My wrist in. hurt. Calm you. down, we'll help you out, okay? Don't push me, girl. I'm not going to touch you. Put your feet in the car, please. Can you start to get away? I will help you out. But she cannot be in my face. Okay. Neither one of them. Get out of my face. Okay. Fix my wrist. Okay. Give me a couple of things. After all the screaming and screeching, Rollins was handcuffed and taken to jail. Rollins was locked up for battery on a law enforcement officer, but she was never charged for the irreversible damage she did to the officer's ears. Incidents like these should hold the parents of these teenagers accountable more than the kids themselves. A little bit of proper discipline and some respect for the police officers could go a long way. What do you guys think about these cases? Did the teens really deserve the consequences? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video if you haven't already. And be sure to stay tuned for our next installment. Who knows, it might be right up your alley. But for now, this is Detective Mystery, signing out.